Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to discuss about two different modifiers, one is twist and taper. These two modifiers are very easy to use but very effective while creating hard surfaces and very designing hard surfaces. These two objects have been created through twist modifier and this surface is actually through taper. Though are the options are out there, I am just going to show you how they are going to use. Just delete those modifiers I've created a simple box and I put some segments because this kind of modifiers are really dependent on segments if you have gone through our uh, tutorial section the basic section of 3ds max and we have already put a, a tutorial on bend modifier and for the basic use of how to you know, use these mod these kind of modifiers I have shown you the criteria and that things that you have to keep in mind while using these uh, modifiers so I have increased my height segments over here and I didn't scale any uh, any objects it, it has been raised or increased the height amount those are very important one okay so now I'm just going to use modifiers list and say twist Okay, so first the uh, two parameters which are the very important parameters of what one is the angle, which direction you want the twist, and it's very simple. And the bias, so well, the bias is absolutely it's actually pushing this twisting effect towards the two end. If you increase the bias, it's actually push the twist effect towards the top and if you decrease them it's actually push them towards the downwards now it's absolutely effective when you are uh, you know using this uh, twist towards uh, you know very uh, actively towards any kind of uh, any direction towards any direction like you want uh, maximum twist on the base and the minimum on the uh, top or maximum on the top or minimum on the base. Now, on that case, the bias comes to play. Uh, the twist axis is pretty much simple. Yeah, here you can see it's been completely, you know, jolted up because uh, the axis has been changed. Twisting axis has been changed. Okay. Same as the X. So you have to be you have to choose very carefully with what kind of uh, axis you really want if you think that after using you, you can see the bend has been this, this twist has been happened but there is no effect of the twist because I don't have any segments over there here you can see my segments has been put and now my object is has giving up a, a actual twist effect over there see okay now these are the factors that we have to remember limits I have already discussed on the uh, about these limits on bend modifier still I'm going to use it here because it's very effective you know first increase the angle and then if you whenever you switch on the limit and you don't have any limit values it won't show you any kind of effect one is upper limit and the lower limit now upper limit is actually restricting the upper portion of your object to be twisted okay you can see I want this much I want I don't want my object to be twisted on the top portion so that's where absolutely not option now you don't uh, uh, mix up with the bias because bias is actually having that twist effect and pushing it towards the end but here it's actually limiting the twist effect from the both sides so same way just increase over there and for the lower limit you have to decrease it and here just uh, pushing it upwards so that I'm just uh, creating a simple uh, effect that uh, the object has been twisted in the middle 
not in the top portion, not in the bottom. So that's where the uh, twist comes to play. Okay, now the next uh, modifier that is taper. Okay, just put the taper onto the object, the same as uh, uh, the segments, the height segments, because I have uh, put, uh, going to work on the z axis. So that's it, this taper movement is increasing or decreasing the size of the top portion but uh, here I can use the curvature to give it a really different cool look of of that particular shape a taper axis is very important now what is a taper axis taper axis generally works on the X and Y if I hit Z then the both the X and Y axis has been you know decrease or increase but here you can uh, control any particular axis like I don't want to be my X to be affected so here you can see this your only X sorry Y axis has been affected the same as you can use X axis to be affected rather than Y so here you can see this one-sided taper action is really helpful to create any kind of you know, designing table bases it's just I'm just giving an example fine so as you can see this can be a table basis or any kind of structure that you want to put into your interior or might be an exterior scene so this these are these are uh, the effectiveness and the limit limit factor that I've already told on the uh, uh, in case of twist the same things actually uh, works for the uh, oh no taper also you can see that uh, the taper amount has been uh, kept on the lower side of the object and same way if you increase that you can see that the uh, yes you can see the the slight curvature has been happened in between the object the lower portion is absolutely straight and the upper portion is also absolutely straight so in that case you can understand that how the taper and twist actually works and how if you, if you want to mix it up you can mix it up because after using the taper I can still use the twist or even the vice versa Here you can see I can still use the twist and here you can still use the taper taper see you have the twisted effect and also the the taper effect working on the same way so this this is very interesting to you know work while, while mix up even you can use the bend uh, modifier also over it and that I've already shown you the same thing in the bend pen modifier while using a uh, pen modifier you can use any other modifier on top of it or the even bottom of it it's absolutely up to you so this kind of mix and match you can do is absolutely a designing sense how you want your object to you know, look like and according to that you yeah, apply your modifiers one after another so hope you enjoy this please like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and also definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated for the newest tutorials. Thank you very much.